Uh, just buckle up. We're going to be talking about this, so yeah, just just hang in there. If I'm being completely honest, I fully believed and, well, not maybe not believe, but I fully hoped that Fallout 76 would actually be a good game. Through all of the stuff that was coming out and all, all the just negative comments that came out, even before the release of the game, I was remaining hopeful that Fallout 76 would be a good game. But unfortunately, it seems that uh, Bethesda kind of messed up on this one. There's a whole list of issues, and I'll be going through the ones that kind of bug me the most, and then some of the more redeeming qualities of the game. So probably my biggest issue with the game is that it seems incomplete is the best way that I can describe it. And what I mean by that is with all of the bugs and just the crashes, because I mean, take a look at this. Here you can see that I am just going along and doing my follow thing and then all of a sudden it just freezes completely the screen turns black and i like the game just crashes completely so and this is not the first time that this has happened either this is just the one that i happened to capture this has happened a couple different times in what my two ish weeks playing with it and like another factor that like tells me that this game is incomplete is that Less than a week into the game's, like, being opened for the world, there came a 47 gigabyte update. My fiancé and I were hoping that we would be able to play that night, but then, boom, lo and behold, oh, there's a 47 gigabyte update. What a weird thing. I don't know why, but it seems to be a trend nowadays where they just have a huge update within, like, a week of the game, but that's a tangent, and... Uh, we'll just disregard that for now. But that is just kind of the kind of stuff that I am talking about. The whole game just seems incomplete, whether it's just like lagging or just kick disconnecting me from the server or just crashing entirely. And speaking of the game being laggy, this is another one of my major complaints about the game is the combat. Now, you may be wondering, what does that have to do with lag? But that's just kind of the general vibe that I get from the combat and when I'm moving around in the world. Everything just seems sluggish, and that's really just the best way that I can describe it. As you can see in this little clip, like, I'm fighting a whole bunch of, I think they're called Scorch, and this one comes and attacks me. I hit it before it attacks me, and I kill it, but it still registers a hit on me which just seems a bit weird and that's just kind of the whole flow of combat at least to me it has been in this game like sluggish laggy not really on time with what you're trying to do on screen and so it just kind of contributes to, to the whole thing like I'm not even angry about the change in the VAT system like I understand it would kind of be hard to slow down the entire world around you just to pick out a specific limb. I, I, I understand that change, that is fine. It's just the overall feel of combat that I just don't like. Another thing that I wasn't a huge fan of, but I think it's just the mechanics of the game, is that you couldn't fast travel anywhere. Bethesda, if you ever see this and you have a large open map where you can fast travel but it costs caps, which there's not a lot of in the game so far, make the ability to have some sort of vehicle, maybe? I think that would be a good way to be able to get around the map, other than just slowly meandering your way towards your next target. Which also brings me to kind of the next point as well, is just the feel of the game, I want to say. It is not a standard follow game, like, I get that, I understood that from the beginning, but there's not much of a story, and if you have to go and hunt down the story, aside from doing just, like, generic side quests and, or side quests and quests in general, if you have to hunt down a story, that is a 
gaming turnoff for me. I don't like having to hunt down the story, aside from like going and finding, like going to the next step or the next objective. Like that's fine. But when I have to hunt down pieces of paper to figure out like what has ever happened in a little local area or and I can't talk to like an NPC or something like that, that just throws the game off for me. And along those lines as well, to me there seem to be pockets of stuff going on. And what I mean by that is that in a concentrated like city, there's like people to shoot, like stuff to loot, that's all well and good. But then to get to like the next city, you kind of have to wander over this vast wasteland, which I get, it's a Fallout game. Between point A and point B, you would think that there would be like either stuff to loot or like little pockets of enemies. In my experience, no, there has not been a lot of stuff between point A and point B. It's just kind of wandering aimlessly and then you show up and then it's like, oh, look, more people to kill. And even then, it's just kind of meh, again, circling back to the whole combat thing. For all of that negative stuff that I just said, let me also highlight some of the good things. The potential saving grace of the whole thing is being able to play with friends. My fiance and I were really hoping that this would be a fun game to, to be able to play uh, with each other in the same world. We're both huge Fallout fans. When, actually, when we first met, we kind of bonded over Fallout. And so we were hoping that this would be a fun way to be able to talk to each other, interact with each other, when we couldn't actually physically be next to each other. But unfortunately that falls a bit short just with the server issues and all that stuff. But that is a good feature that you can't overlook when you're talking about the game. The next thing that I have to say is the setting of the game is actually very nice. The setting of West Virginia actually turned out to be a very good setting for it. It turned out to be a very good setting for the game. It has luscious green fields along with the barren wastelands because of the nuclear fallout and pretty much everything in between. Once everything works properly, it it doesn't look bad, although there was a couple times, or, like, it noticeable enough to me where, like, I couldn't, like, the texture would pop in, and it wouldn't even pop in sometimes until I was right on top of the object I was looking at. I'm just kind of like, okay, whatever. But that's just kind of a minor complaint. So, with all of that said, what can I recommend with Fallout? I have to say, it was just a bad game. That is my first bad rating, and honestly, I thought it would take longer to hand out my first bad rating rating in a review. The game seems incomplete, with it crashing constantly and disconnecting from servers, it's hard to really get into it. My fiance and I have, were trying to play one night and it crashed three times. No, it didn't crash, sorry, back up a little bit. It didn't crash, it just um, disconnected us from the server three times, and on the third time that it happened, we were just done. We were done playing for the night. We were both frustrated with the game, and that just doesn't make for good longevity of a game. When it crashes and stuff like that, it, it just obviously doesn't work. And so, to Bethesda, I'm sorry, <laughs> we're huge Fallout fans, we still love you, but Fallout 76 was just not a very good game. And to everyone else, it may become a better game in the future with patches and tweaks and all that stuff. It could become a better game. But at this point for me, I have already, already returned the game and honestly there's no going back. I have no reason to go back. Even if they do patch it and fix it, it you, you, to, to me, in my eyes, you just cannot save this title in particular. And so, for all of those of you who haven't played, um, I, di I did do a live stream of the game, so you can take a look online and see what's going on, or any other creator of your choosing. You can check out all their gameplay and all that stuff. But I really can't recommend buying this game, if you want to try it, until it goes on sale. And I don't even know if I would wait for like, oh, it's $40 brand new. I would say like, used 20 bucks kind of sale. That's, 
that's just my honest opinion. And now, once you go and watch the gameplay that either I have or anyone else has, you can form inform, <laughs> you can form your own opinion about the game itself. So if you have any questions, comments, just want to complain about the game, down in the comments below, I will be down there talking to you. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you disliked it, you can't hit the dislike button. I might be a little sad, but I'm sure I'll get over it. Um, but if you also like what I'm doing, like seeing my face, uh, please subscribe and also remember to ring that bell so you know when I do either stream or put out new videos. And with that, this is 3G Geek signing off. Ugh, come on, Bethesda, you, you, you could have done better, man. Could have done better.